So this is the 54th annual She's Okahobi Show in 2015. On Thursday and Friday, it is open only to the business uh, industry insiders. And Saturday and Sunday, it's open to the public. And it's free of charge. So it can be really crowded, on, especially on Saturdays, I think. So uh, let's go inside and I'll show you uh, what it's like in here. Um, there's actually uh, a train festival, which includes model, model railroad train sets and such. Um, that is elsewhere in the city and uh, so I think maybe some companies might be there instead of this event I'm not sure but um, we do have some new exhibitors this year so I'm kind of excited to see that This is the largest plastic modeling event in Japan and probably the world. Okay, first is the Bandai booth. This is a 1 4th scale R2D2 and he seems to be lit up. At least that, that red dot under his eye. And the camera doesn't really look like it's red, but to, uh, to my eyes, it's definitely red. All sorts of neat appendages. Got a periscope. I, I, I assume this is a plastic model, I'm sure. So if it comes wired with uh, lights and such, that would be pretty neat. Here's the Imperial Walker. We don't know yet what is going to happen with this. I would be happy if uh, they had one that was not motorized. But, uh, you can see the glowing red inside, but you just see like the, the wires and stuff inside, so it's kind of, you know, whatever. I'd rather have that kind of like a trans translucent so you can't see inside. Yeah, coming around here are some dioramas. I have the magazine, I think this is Model Graphics magazine, I think. But uh, this diorama was featured in the Dagobah diorama. Let me get in close here. There's, there's Yoda right there. There's Luke and R2 standing in disbelief as the 172 scale X-Wing is being levitated. It's a really, really neat looking diorama. Some ATSTs walking through the forest. Really, really cool. Now this is, I'm sure it's just for uh, display purposes only. It's a huge, um, it's said to be 1 12th scale Darth Vader Spy Fighter. And here's a whole bunch of uh, Stormtroopers and Darth Vader to go along with it. Now here's the speeder bike, and next to it is the sand trooper without coloring apparently. Probably has like uh, either a gray or an orange sticker or a decal to go on his, his shoulder pad. Here's your box art. And there's uh, up ahead of the upcoming uh, Y Wing and Snow Speeder. Got some boxes here to show you too. Here. Don't you 
Jasper's not having a good day. Choice of two different uh, pilots. Okay, here's the new motorized X Wing. Saw this at the Tokyo show. So this is just like out of the box, and then this has been weathered up. I beg you not to touch it. Okay, now I'm looking at the Gundam stuff. There's some uh, interchangeable hands, it looks like. Okay, Kodabuki has been making these, but now Bandai is getting into it now too. Um, different weapons and such to buy for your, your models. So, uh, these are a new version of the SD Gundams that um, look pretty, 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 pretty detailed, I think. Really nice proportions and such. Let me get through here. The new MG Kakashiki. Uh, gold plastic looks pretty nice. It's really subdued compared to the one that I had made many, many years ago. That was just like a really, really shiny uh, gold chrome. This is more of a subdued uh, gold. Looks really nice to get closer. <laughs> So, that's why, um, oh, oh, uh, that's why uh, I'll just have to refer you to my, uh, my home page. I'll have a link in the description so you can see closer pictures of these. It's kind of hard to do a video and uh, get close to these things at the same time. The one thing I was looking forward to seeing here, I don't even see it, it's the, uh, the V2 Assault Buster kind of, um, you, you would have to buy the Assault and the Buster separately, but uh, they've released it as, you know, finally as one kit, but I don't see it here on display, I'm really surprised, very, very surprised. It's just too crowded here. So this is the new Revive HG, I guess. Better proportions, high maneuverability, uh, posability.
so here you go. So they're going to have the gun cannon and the, the Gundam. Oh, and uh, over there, that uh, seed, whatever that is, I don't pay attention to seed. We train shorty stuff here. Thomas, I think that's new. Hi, Bama. Okay, here we go with uh, Yamato. This is the Ark of the Stars movie that came out. It's a really nice movie to watch. Packed movie theater, too. So unfortunately the Yamato models have been dwindling to only just these mega collection and uh, not much else. Uh, this is new, you can buy this on Premium Bandai, it's uh, the Gamulus uh, carrier based spacecraft set and it actually contains uh, water slide decals. And I've uh, pre-ordered this, it's available in I believe July. Uh, yes, yeah, this is right there, July. So these these came with the Garmelis ships, the 1-1000 1 ships, but uh, they're, they're releasing these as a set by themselves. Uh, I couldn't care less about these uh, laser satellite things. Those are reflector satellites, but the rest of them are really cool. The tank is awesome, that flying wing, and uh, of course the Garmelis starfighter is really great too. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna try try to pick the brains of the uh, the Yamato guy here, the Bandai guy. Okay, I just talked to the uh, the Bandai rep, and uh, I told him, hey, you know what the hell? Yamato is kind of dwindling right now, and he says, just right now, it's just kind of calm. You know, the, the movie's coming out on on Blu-ray, but uh, they're coming out with a new. Uh, he, he says like, they're eventually going to be coming out with a, a, a Andromeda story, you know, with a, uh, uh, probably the Yamato second series. They're going to be redoing that as $21.99. So, when that happens, they're going to be releasing a whole uh, slew of new models. But not until then, I guess. It's just kind of, you know, just kind of quiet right now, unfortunately. I told them they'd be happy. I'd be happy if they had like a Cosmo Seagull for the, the Mecha collection. Um, at least a Mecha Collection one. I told them that, you know, the Gamma Starfighter here, if, if they were to release a 172 scale of that, or the Cosmo Seagull, they would make a hell of a lot of people happy. Um, he said, you know, they'll have to think of it. And also I told them that uh, it'd be nice if they could se sell the uh, water slide decal versions of these uh, Mecha Collection kits separately. You know, I understand if they're not going to be releasing them in the kits themselves, but if they could sell them separately, I, would, I know I would definitely be buying them. 
because I, I hate to uh, rely on uh, somebody else to print them out for me. This whole back area belongs to Tamiya. Some World War I armor. scale models back here. Here's their smaller uh, mosquito that's for sale. Uh, 172 scale. And there's their 148 scale. Razorback. Oh, 
French medium tank some uh hmm. Oh, this is that tank that they had last year, I believe. World War II, uh, World War One tank. Hmm. Oh, it's so, 132 scale. Is this a zero? BC Zero and uh, Spitfire over there Beetle. next to it. And it's pretty jagmungus. Lovely uh, sushi. Mercedes Benz. Pretty fancy. And uh, Tamiya is the local Japanese importer of Italeri kits. It's huge, a 148 scale C130. For those who enjoy ship models, so Aoshima, Tamiya, and Hasegawa have kind of uh, joined forces to do their 1700 waterline series. So waterline means that uh, you know there's there's no bottom to the boat. They, they just lay flat on a surface as they would look like in water, you know. Um, Fujimi kind of uh, released their own 1700 waterline series, but uh, they were not really invited to uh, uh, to that uh, collaboration. So. Um, Fujimi kind of uh, got themselves into some trouble, I suppose, some other decisions they made. And that is one of the reasons why they are not invited to the Shiza Okahabi show. So. And then they got like these, uh, Sen Senkan Musume or whatever it's called. Yeah. We have them all here on display here. So let's see what they have at parts. Plots imports, uh, Dragon, Round 2 models, Pegasus, Mobius, lots of different stuff here. Let's see what they got here. And uh, they also do their own toolings as well. So there's a 172 F15J Eagle. Really nice markings. That's pretty cool. And girls in Panzer. Yeah, I've already expressed my opinions on that and stuff. I'm not interested. Ridiculous premise, I just can't get over that. I'm, I'm told it's enjoyable once you get over the stupid premise, but I just, sorry, can't do it. So, your Dragon's uh, Avengers. Kits. This is the uh, Iron Man's, uh, what's it called, the Hulk Monster. Yeah. Okay. And, um, L-clad lacquers, testers, uh, texture spray, and they got um, Metal Master acrylic. And uh, this is really hard to come by. Both the L-clads and the Model Master acrylics are kind of difficult. I have to order them online. I mean, there's I know one place in uh, Tokyo that sells them, but this Disney crap. Let me get past this guy here. Um, so yeah, it's kind of difficult to find. Uh, Diamond Select. This is the uh, the Enterprise, the, the Enterprise D, the super super version from the last episode. And then this is the USS Enterprise B. And I believe this is like a push the button and they light up and such. 
Diamond Select. These are not plastic models. Bird of Prey. There's a whole bunch of Iron Man suits. Stellar Ranger. I have not yet seen this movie. More Diamond Select. Enterprise. And Excalibur. So you can see the subtle differences in the, the two. Especially, you know, the Excalibur is like kind of smooth on the, the secondary hull. Where it's got like a, like a ledge for the Enterprise. This is really neat. A little super deformed version of the Colonial Viper from Battlestar Galactica. And uh, this is also made by Mobius. That is really neat. Uh, from Pegasus, here's their uh, Terminator stuff. The Hunter Killer tank. And uh, the Flying Hunter Killer. Glencoe models. Gosh, that looks really old. Polar Lights, 64 Pontiac. And an MPC 79 Firebird. Wow. <laughs> That's my childhood right there. Oh, golly. I thought that was so cool when I was a kid. And this is a really neat idea. All in one box. You get two, two Enterprises. You get like uh, the Easy Snap fit for the kid. And uh, glue and paint one for the, for the dad. Thank your son. You do the easy one. I'll, I'll do the difficult one. But it's cool because, you know, parents can uh, experience uh, modeling with their kids. And that's what I do. That's, that's what's neat. This is Sweet Aviation Model Division. Um, I believe they're based oh. in Fujieda. Oh, Fujieda, this man? Yes. Ah, oh, hi. And uh, I was just talking to the, the president, that's him right there. And he's a super nice guy. Um, so, yeah, they specialize in one 144 scale uh, models. <laughs> they make a lot of zero models, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, really, really fine detail. For these these tiny little machines here, tiny little models. <laughs> oh, arigato gozaimasu. Oh, boku no sumi. Oh, he just gave me a badge. Arigato gozaimasu. So, uh, oh, what do you got here? Sea King. That's cool. Float plane. Wow. Lots of different zeros. So I'm not sure if I'm up to uh, trying my patience with something this small, but uh, yeah. Jared, if you're watching this, I got one for you. So, happy birthday! <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll you'll be getting one of these in the mail soon. So, got like little replacement parts. It looks like you got the canopy and such. Uh, so this is uh, brand new. Zero. So he said that some of these are um, what? Which one? He said like. Uh, it, had some action, and I think they, they were serviced in the. Uh, they, they, they sell service in Saipan, I think. Which one did you say? I think it was this one, number 37. So. Yeah, everything is 10% uh, off today. So, yeah. Really neat posters, really nice artwork here. So. Yeah. Arigatou gozaimasu!